Hello. We are going live, an impromptu live stream. Just got home from work. I have a bunch of comics and trade paperbacks, but I also have a little piece of special mail from J Hood Creative himself that we're going to open up here in just a bit. So I'm going to save that for last. See who's got the notification bell click. See who's just hanging out, waiting for a waiting for a stream to jump up that they're interested in watching. Says there's a viewer. Says there's somebody out there. But uh, Big Will is going live. I know J uh, TM uh, Nerdy just got off. I know that uh, Southern Comic Geek's been on. I don't want to use up too many people's time, but uh, we just thought it'd be a fun little unboxing and and go through some books and hang out. And Kate was bored all day. I had no school today. Well, nope. I had like little assignments to do, but no school. <gasps> Perry gave me my emoji. Perry's Perry knows what Kate likes. It's this weird face. Yeah. It's like a duck face. It's like. I know, right? <laughs> Herminio Reyes Jr. and Metarog. What is up? Buenas tardes, gentlemen. Je Je Jennifer's in here. I don't see Jennifer. Where's Jennifer? Her, maybe our chat's glitchy. Maybe our chat's glitchy. Yeah. There's seven people if Jennifer's here, not even like two minutes. Jennifer's here, then I'll start off with uh, something for her. But Daymares, what is up? Good to see you. So, I, yeah, I got a few things. There she is. And Jennifer yeah. Creative. Jennifer is here, so I'll start off with her because I got some stuff that she's going to be down with. And Jay Hood is here. Speak of the devil. I will be opening this last... This is this is the this is the this is the big reveal at the end of the show. Daniel Quinn, what is up? So many people, not even like almost two minutes. I know, right? So uh, for Jennifer, uh, she knows I've been trying to expand my Rom V. He's a writer. Mm -hmm. My knowledge of Rom V. I read his horror book, These Savage Shores. It's kind of like uh, vampires meets Pirates of the Caribbean kind of thing. The East India Trading Company, which was the the, the people sailing ships and, and, and bringing spices from India to like Europe yeah. and back and forth around Africa. Cool. So it takes place in in, Euro, in in India, sorry, India dealing with uh, the British kind of taking over. This was a great read. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. I went out and online, I found somebody selling the issues. I really didn't want the individual's issues. What I wanted were some of these amazing variants. Uh, just really cool variants. Um, I just dig it. I just dig it. I dig these variants are really cool. Negative space variants are get me, right? Uh, I just, I love a good negative space variant. Look at that girl in the, in the crazy stuff. Oh, there's Kate back there too. Hi, Kate. So I, I snagged these for like 20 bucks. I got all the issues. Very excited about that. I am not in class. No, senor. I have just got home. So I've been home for just a bit. So the other thing I read, Jennifer gave me Blue and Green, which is a totally different book. It's amazing. Ram V has a ton of range. Absolute ton of range. Chamorro, Chamorro Cinema. Is it uh, Adai? Uh, Adafai? Adai? Uh, I'm blowing it. I'm blowing it. You're blocking Kate's face, which is the better part of my show, <laughs> Pop Pop. Yeah, he knows. Making a mistake right there. I'm blowing it. Sorry. So I read Blue in Green. It's it's really good. It's really creepy. I like. I think I like the other one better. I think I like something about Savage Shores. I like the history better. This has to do with jazz music, and like, like soul. Yeah, but the musicians are like possessed by a monster in a weird way. Their obsession with their music is like feeding off. Yeah, like feeding it feeds off, off of the, the monster sort of feeds off of that. So like characters are being sort of traumatized by their musical obsession. It is a very haunting book is a good way to. Yeah, I, the word haunting comes up a bunch for me on this. Um, it is it is a creepy, beautiful kind of book. You know, um, so you can kind of see some of the monstrous things. Um, but it's amazing what range Rom V has. Those reading his Swamp Thing comic book right now kind of can see a little bit of his gothic love for gothic stuff. Um, this was cool, though. Hey, 
90 miles from comics. Chad is in the chat. What is up, my man? I've never read so – honestly, this is really the beginning of my Rom V reading, Daniel. I, I've read these two indies. I've read all of his Swamp Thing, Future State, and Regular. And I read a little bit of Superman, Batman, which I didn't care for. Uh, but I've been in really impressed by him. I got to keep branching out, uh, get a little bit more out of his stuff. So – very excited about that. Now I got to read Sarah and the Royal Stars. There you go. See? More stuff. Mm -hmm. More stuff. YouTube is 90. My LCS had some books for 50% off today, so I snagged some other indies. I got the entire run of Middle West. Is that the book you reviewed with Alex? It is, yeah. So I got all three volumes in trade paperback, the, uh, the entire saga of Middle West. I, my LCS was selling these for 50% off. I could not say no. Um, Black Mumba is another one that he did. Ooh, a crime series. Why? Nice. Bueller's here. What is up? Good wow, to see you, a man. Lot of people in here. Thanks for coming by. Just a quick uh, share, and then uh, I'm going to unbox some J Hood Creative card goodness at the end. Saving that for last. But yeah, I loved Middle West, and I didn't want to read the individual issues anymore, and having it in a trade just made a whole ton of sense. So I snagged those. They also had, I've never read Sweet Tooth by Jeff Lemire, and I hear it's wonderful, and they were selling this for 50% off, so I was uh, excited to get another bit of Jeff Lemire goodness. This is a quirky, odd, creepy kind of thing from Jeff Lemire. So very much looking forward to that. Um, I'm ready to get to that. Look, look, Jennifer's guiding this, leading it along. Nightly bath time routine. I get it. I know how that goes. Um, I love Middle West. I think it was really, really great. Uh, hello, poor Mike. What is going on, my man? And Captain is here. Happy belated birthday to the captain. His birthday was yesterday. Um, birthday. Yes, yeah. So I snagged Sweet Tooth. Looking forward to reading that. I have no knowledge of this, but I've heard good things. So that's on my reading list. And then I snagged, I've, I actually have not owned a trade paperback of the death of Robin in a really long time. My old one was kind of destroyed. So I, I snagged a redo of this because I'm doing a show on Comics King's channel on Monday. And we're going to talk a little bit about this and the death of Gwen Stacy and those powerful issues. So there, those are the trades I snagged. Werewolf by lunchtime. Good day to you, sir. Look, oh, I'm buzzing over here. That's my dad. What's up, dad? No. Oh, how you doing, dad? He's sending me little updates while, uh, while I'm here. All right. So I snagged eight books this week, and I've got... I'm going to review two of them tomorrow morning with the girls because I have not read Nightwing, which I hear is great and I'm looking forward to reading. And I have not read Layla Star, which I hear is great. So I'm saving. Those are my like treat for Friday night. So tomorrow I will review these with the girls tomorrow morning. Those look marvelous. I had to get this amazing Daddy, cover. They're not marvelous. They're DCs. The Decius. <laughs> wow, I'm Shots scared. Fired. Station to you, TM. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, yes, it is shiny goodness, right, Bueller? Absolutely. That's a thirty dollar speculation market, man. It's just a good. It's a good read. Just read. Read your books, right? Uh, I loved this cover for X Force. The book inside was a, a wild ride. Really, really cool. I did not love the art inside as much as this cover. But, you know, it was a good read. So that, that was a good read. Ah, sorry, bumping a lot of things. Sword was really good. I enjoyed, or, you know, I call it S-word. It's the S-word. <laughs> this is the S-word, and it was good. I enjoyed S-word. That was a fun read. So it's not S-word. Um, I enjoyed I Walk With Monsters. It is not S-Word, no. S-Word was not S-Word. <laughs> I Walk With Monsters was great. There's only one issue left, so I am definitely excited to finish the end of that. Yes, Bueller, read your book. Heck no, get that Fortnite code. <laughs> Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. 
I loved Way of X, the new Nightcrawler comic book. This was great. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm, I'm super happy about that. And then I've got two books that I'm not a fan of here. I'm going to start with Eternals. I think I'm done with Eternals. I gave it four issues, which is more than I usually give. I love the talent working here, but the book is not good. Sorry to say. Mm -hmm. Patrick Wall, what is up, man? Garbage Pale Kids. Yeah. So I'm probably done with Eternals. I doubt I'm going to get the next book. So that was kind of a bummer. End of that. I love I love Isad Ribic's art and I love Kieran Gillen's writing. It's just not work. I don't know if they're having too much editorial involved or what, but it's just not working. Mm -hmm. Don't hide, hoarders. Don't hide. Um, and then lastly, this was garbage. I did not like this new Valkyries book, and I love all the Valkyries books. I think it's because mainly Jason Aaron is not writing this. I think he co-wrote this, and I think really they just put his name on here and the other guy did all the work because this is not good. So I guess one last book I have to read. I'm not going to get the rest of that for sure. Chet, what's up, man? Hello from the force bubble. Hello to you, Justin from No Good Comics. Man, my, my mouse does not want to click there, but hey, there he is. Um, yeah, the art looked so good in it and the story was just garbage. So I did not care for this. Sorry, Valkyries done, done with the Valkyries. Uh, I always wanted, I want more Jason Aaron, but apparently not that. So <laughs> hard um, pass. I keep yawning. I don't know why. Cause you're bored. Not bored. I swear. I don't know. Bored. Does station mean hi? I'm guessing. Like hello. It was, yeah, it's hello. It's from uh, it's from a movie. Oh. Is there someone in chat? There's lots of people in the chat. The chat. Yeah, Chet. You know Chet. There's a there's the um, the Hardy Boys best friend is Chet. Morgan. Yeah, they're uh, they're uh, the his chum. They're the chums. Uh, somebody sending me. Oh, sorry. Another messages. Getting text messages. Sorry, folks. So those are the uh, those are the books that I've been reading, the books I've been picking up, the trades that I snagged today. I got one last thing to unbox, and it's from Coach Vic's best friend, J Hood Creative. I put the link to J Hood's channel down below. I'll make a thumbnail for this later on. I just did not have the time, did not make the time for that uh, because I was just too excited to get this in the mail. Um, I was I, I was checking the mailbox. I was like, ah, I wonder what's in the mail today. And I saw that little logo, the J Hood Creative logo. See right there. And I've been seeing other people open these, and I got super super excited. Staying stationed at a gas station while being stationed overseas. Stationed at the station while you're stationed. Wow. Clever. Wow. Now back to you, John. There you go, right? Um, so if those of you who don't know, uh, my buddy, J Hood Creative, great YouTube channel, deserves to be way bigger. He's super close to 400, by the way. So if you guys can subscribe, click the link. I think he's only like nine people away from 400. Definitely click the little link, subscribe, get, get, get him up there. If we can get him over 400 on this stream, that would be amazing. But he decided to make cards you know how you get like um uh collectible cards oh okay so i have a set of we have the savage dragon cards right here like baseball cards baseball they're kind of like baseball cards but yeah they're collectible cards for whatever purpose so these are my savage dragon cards i got most of these i think from old wolf um you know you got your plant you got your collectible cards right he made cards for our comic book community so the cards are of people in our comic book community. So there's one of you? I haven't seen one of me yet. <gasps> but I've seen a ton of people in this chat. I've seen Perry ones. I've seen J-Hood ones. I've seen Coach – have I seen Coach Vic ones? I've seen Daymare's ones, uh, Bearded Comic Bro ones, Yay! Bear Island ones, Biggie Shack ones. Yeah. A ton of them. Bear Island has so he's been making these cards, and then he's been shipping them out to people. Yeah, Big Herm. I got a whole set of my Savage Dragon cards here from Old Wolf himself sent me these. So 
So you don't know what you're going to get okay. when you get them. Has anyone um, gotten themselves? I don't think anybody got themselves. Okay. But maybe uh, if Jay Hood wants to explain his the way he sent them, it could be awesome. Thank you for subbing him up, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Um, you got some of the Savage Dragon cards too, Travis. There you go. Way cooler than uh, BB cards. There you go. What do you mean? I don't know what he meant. I don't know what Daniel means. So a baseball. He means baseball. Took me a second. Basketball. Took me a second. Basketball. I don't know. I I don't know if there are any John cards. I haven't seen any, so I don't know. I can't speak to that. Um, no one got themselves. The okay. card is like a box of chocolates, right? Absolutely. Yeah, All strands. What is up? Uh, nobody got themselves, so nobody gets themselves. Okay. That's good. I think it's better that way, but you can certainly trade. Right? That's the fun of having these cards and comics is you can trade. Here, right? you can have a barrel island for a bearded comic bro. Right? That's not a fair trade. Charlie, would you give me the uh, the Reggie blade, the Reggie Collects blade? A fair, a fair trade for bearded comic bro, bearded comic bro would be Jennifer. Can I have the blade? Because they're both amazing. Oh, wait. I thought you... Never mind. Of course there are John cards. Uh-oh. There are John cards. So there you go. So let me see here. I'm going to carefully open oh, this. God. I'm just very excited for this. Look at the list on the card. Okay. Look at the list on the card. Okay. okay there you go. Okay. I'm going to make sure they're face down. Here we go. So firstly, huge thank you to Jay Hood Creative for doing this. Wow. Collect them all. These are all the people included on the cards. Wow. There's a Biggie there Champ are. variant. We're under poor Mike. There's a Smiley Whale variant, which probably means whale, White Whale Comics smiling, which rarely happens. There's a Dad Face Old Wolf variant. That's hilarious. Oh, my Magic gosh. Lasso. That's so funny. Is there a Jennifer? Uh, I don't know if there's a comic book that will break your heart. Saturday Night Comic Bro. Kurt Cobert variant, budget wing variant. I saw that. So JP close, budget right? collects as dressed as Nightwing. <laughs> Very funny. <gasps> so he drew these? No, no, no. These are images he's taken off of YouTube oh, and then he's used like, edited them. them. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's Where see here. Dad get? You got a few. On the inside, it says, uh, oh, firstly, you have Jay Hood himself with his uh, fake tattoo of Hyalea Comic Bro on his back. Yes, I am uh, I'm laughing. When uh, he played this, it's hilarious. Uh, the, yeah, amazing, 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 amazing. Jennifer says, Oh, Charlie. So it says, um, There's a J Hood one you can cut out. It says, To apply, use scissors to cut your favorite YouTube comic community member's head, peel off the clear paper, oh, place the tattoo sticky side down on your skin, get a soaking wet cloth. So it tells you how to put the stickers on. The cards are also stickers. I forgot to mention that. Sorry. What is up, Terry Vaughn? Oh yeah, sorry. There you are. Happy Friday, Is indeed. There... Sorry. Let's okay. get some fire cards. Is there a just a Rican card? There's got to be. Yes, there's a just a Rican card. And a Perry and a Gorilla Todd Big Whale. Perry, Gorilla Todd, Rob Boswell, Legion. Oh, right. Yeah. Mr. Miracle, Great Legend, Old Legend. Wolf. There's two Old Wolves because there's the variant as well. Um, it also says, "Congrats and thanks to you. Thank you for responding to my video where I asked you to participate in a very J Hood Christmas gift." to the YouTube community. You've probably forgotten all about it by now, but that's okay. What you hold in your hands is my gift to you. The first that I know of, YouTube comic book community collectible. Yes, you are sure to be the envy of all your friends. Let them cry themselves to sleep at night when they realize what you, or sorry, what they missed out on. <laughs> Enclosed, you will find collectible YouTube comic book community temporary tattoos. That's right. You can be cool and wear your favorite comic community member anywhere on your body or trade them with other members or hold them for ransom or whatever to get the ones that you want. Most of them, uh, mo sorry, most all, sorry, most, most of, of all, all have fun and thanks for being a great community member. Legal note. Oh, please don't sue me. <laughs> all I've got are my comics and I don't have that many big keys. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. Kachung and Unruly Simeon. I think I said hello to Simeon, but I'm going to say it again. And Kachung is here. And Terry Vaughn. 
Did I miss? I said hello to Terry Vaughn. I got that. I'm fast. Speedy. Okay, so I'm going to turn them face down so we don't know who we got. Got more than one. I, I, we I have know. one, two, I got four. Plus, I would argue that I have Jay Hood's card right there. But okay, are we ready? Mm -hmm. First one. I got Coach Vic. Yay! Coach Vic, what is up? I got Coach. I'm gonna put that like right here on my neck. Get a, 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 a put, Coach Vic put one neck on your forehead? Oh yeah, right on my forehead with Coach Vic. It could possibly fit if we cut it a little down. Isn't that that game where you you hold the card up we and you don't know what you've got on your head? Oh, Headbands, yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. Delphia's here too. Hello, Delphia. All right. So that was my first one. I already set. I already got Coach Vic. I'm set. Here we go. Second one. Biggie Shaq. Yay! We got the Biggie. What is up? That is awesome. The best card with the worst haircut. <sighs> I, got, I, got, I got Biggie and Coach Vic. That is awesome. I love this. Oh, my gosh. Hilarious. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Two more. Oh, I got another text. Who's, who's texting me? Oh, my wife is texting me. Oh, she's on her way. Okay, good. So we better wrap this up. All right, here we go. <gasps> Panda awesome. Adrian, what is up? Yeah. That is fantastic. One of the best parts of the Brick family channel, if you don't know, mm -hmm. is Adrian and Legion and New Guy Ryan. I have his stickers. Those are the best, those his, are the best three parts his, of his channel. His stickers on my comic box. We do. We have him. Yeah, I've got his stickers on my water bottle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, man. One left. Who's it going to be? Are you ready? Last card. Charlie wants to be here for this. This is a big moment. Guys, our whole lives depend on this. I will definitely recap the cards, even though it's the last part of the video and you already know. You ready? White whale! whale! I got the white whale card. What? Yay! This is the serious face, not the smiling face whale. Mm. That card is still out there. But nice, I got the White Whale Comics card. That is phenomenal. Yes. So, White Whale, Panda, Coach Vic, and the Immortal Biggie Shack. Biggie Shack. Order. Wow. The new order. What a set. Mm -hmm. That is phenomenal. That is. Wow. Yeah, excellent is the best way. So, firstly, you guys, if you got any entertainment just out of this unboxing, please just follow J Hood Creative. I mean, he's an awesome, awesome guy. And he made the theme and intro for Comic Gories. So huge, oh. huge thanks to him for that, that as well. so cool. But this is, uh, this is incredible, brother. Really just top-notch, J-Hood. You guys, this is too much. Too much. Uh, absolutely amazing. Oh, you were hoping for a Kachoon card? Kate told Charlie, Kate. Uh, yeah, I needed that white whale card, right? That was a big one. That was a big card. The smiling white whale, though, that's going to be a hard, that's a tricky card to find. There's not a lot of those out there. It's rare. A rare <laughs> sighting. Uh, yeah, so this was my little, sorry for anybody coming late. Uh, these are my little uh, pickups for this week. The books I read for this week. I'm saving two for tonight that I can talk about tomorrow for, with the girls uh, when we're having bagels and such. And then these were the uh, the four sticker cards, or sorry, tattoo cards that I got from Jay Hood. So huge thank you, Jay Hood, dude. This is a this is one of the most original YouTube comic community ideas I've heard, just straight up. Definitely. And it's been hilarious going on my Instagram and seeing people posting the pictures of the cards. Really funny. So just thank you for doing this, man. Absolutely. And. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ooh, there's only one of each of the variants. Ooh, that makes them very rare. Wow. Whoa. So watch out for the, whoever gets that smiley white whale. I may need to uh, do a, you know, I'll trade you a giant size X Men for the smiley white whale. <laughs> we'll have to come up with some kind of a elaborate trade. Uh, I'll give you a big giant bear hug <laughs> for the smiley white whale. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely awesome, and uh, huge thanks to you, Jay Hood. We got to do a some show where people come on and hold them, hold the cards up because yeah, you got to have them all in one place somehow. As far as for me, this weekend um, is a very busy weekend. 
We got our show in the morning. Then we are on with Life with you, Two YouTubers because Cade has officially been monetized. He can take super chats and he can take donations and oh, hopefully cool. he'll set up channel memberships and stuff. So we're going to celebrate over there on the Among Us or just Burning chill? Block About 99 channel tomorrow. And that should be at four, I think it's four, three or four o'clock my time, middle of the day my time. So it would be near evening, seven o'clock-ish East Coast. And then at eight o'clock my time, the Bearded Comic Bro and I are going to be discussing the movies nominated for Best Picture this year. We've watched all of them, and we will break them down, talk a little bit about some of the best performances, the best movies, and Kate will be yawning the whole time. I don't know why I keep yawning. Um, so that will be uh, – Hola, Salvador. Good to see you, man. So that will be tomorrow night on my channel, 8 o'clock East uh, – sorry, Pacific, 11 Eastern. Um, Sunday, I got – Dungeons and Dragons with Big Will on his channel. And then Monday night, I'm on with Brandon Comics Kings to talk about the death of Gwen Stacy versus the death of Jason Todd. And that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, uh, a lot. A lot, a lot of work. Uh, it, it took me longer than most people. Uh, you know, Several years. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, and I'm enjoying it. So that's the best part about it is having a good time. Uh, and I appreciate the, because there's about 150 of you friends who watch everything we make. And that's unbelievable to me uh, that, that I have 150 YouTube comic community friends who are willing to enjoy all the silly shenanigans that we do. So that's, yeah. that's absolutely. You guys it. have to put up with us. Right. Absolutely. I usually look forward to Saturday morning show, but now especially because I'm dying to hear your thoughts on Layla star. See, there you go. Tune we can, in. We can eat your bagels together. Bagels and new Boom Studios comics and Nightwing as well. I'll talk about Nightwing. Uh, so that's me this uh, the next few days. Lots of stuff after that too. I got two shows on Tuesday because I'm going to be joining the Lame or Frame drawing crew to do Dungeons and Dragons drawings. Yes! And then I'm hosting the Omni X-Men on Tuesday. We got... The, the the usual uh, comic course show Wednesday. It's a, it's a big week, big big week. Sorry, oh, Flashpoint. God, God. We are ending right now because we need to get some dinner going. But Here's it's nice to see you for half a second, Fla uh, Michael. Nice to see you, man. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe if you come to Saturday morning. Uh, I, I don't know. Promiscuous time travel. I didn't say hello to you, but yes, I heard you promised me darkness was great, but I have not. I did not get a copy of that. I was already at eight comic books. I really wish if I could go back to my shop right now, travel back in time and trade this for that, I would do it in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Uh, in the early, ooh, that is classic comic, Salvador. I, I, I don't, I don't, I have, I think I have one golden age comic book in my collection. Uh, most of my comics are much uh, earlier, more modern stuff. But yeah, those are, those are amazing books if you can find them. So we are out of here. We are heading off, and uh, and I'll see you guys uh, basically tomorrow morning at uh, eight thirty our time, eleven thirty uh, Pacific or Eastern. Ah, I hate this time. Times I hate time. And we'll review Falcon and Winter Soldier tomorrow. Oh yes, we yeah the last episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier is tonight. We're gonna finish There's it off. Only six. Yeah, only six episodes. It's all ending tonight. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So. Ruben Guzman, adios. Thank you for coming by. We are out of here. And subscribe to J Hood Creative if you haven't done it yet because we need more people like that in our comic community. So that's my recommendation. Good night, gang. Bye. Bye.